two ruts with grass up the middle. But in these days, there's obviously not grass up the middle because there's a good chance of your horse walking up the middle. So it's just mud, pure mud, both sides. So we can draw our ruts through where the limber's gone because the limber that's come before it will have been trampled away by the horses coming along, if that makes any sense. So there is no grass in the middle of these tracks. It's uh, all just mud. Mud, mud, mud. So these have drawn through and they'll have only made their own trail, if that makes sense. Because, as I say, it'll have been champed away by the horses in front. So we keep adding it around anyway. Keep getting it in, get it in. A wee bit up there that I've got by accident, but I, can, I could fix that easy enough. Could fix that. Keep going. Up, 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 up. Working it in. And yeah, I'm going to be painting this over with my MIG mud as well, so that'll be alright once we get all this over. MIG mud and then flock up the sides and uh, leave the middle mud. So now it's a bit more tricky because you have to come through the middle. This is how the wee spatula now is actually quite decent for that. So you're adding it in there. In there. And then working it still. He's not fixed entirely, so I better be careful with that. Some of that glue is not ideal, it appears. So, anyway, you're getting the idea. Coming around, going around, round, round. Not very good at keeping it on camera, it's really difficult actually. So there you go. Whoops, whoops, whoops. So that's that done. Now here he goes, you see, bugger. Oh no, it's alright. So he goes back on there, like that. Okay. Do you get the idea? And that's that finished. What I did do now is I got the little podger thing, this little thing, and I just kind of made kind of hoof prints as if they're coming through the mud. And obviously that'll continue right down. And that, that'll pick, get picked back up with the, with the uh, MIG mud as well. Just helps to do a little bit of the textures work for it if you catch them through. and then the side of the the road will just be done as a that will be just done with my, the flocking thing that we spoke about in the other video that just lifts it a wee bit it helps helps the texturing and that is it that's it until the next stage so we have a horse artillery train based, chained, on a road with ruts, uh, ready to go. Uh, as I said, I've, you could come back over here for example, I've got a little bit up the horse's leg there, just take that off. But I mean this is just, you could just repaint over this or you could spend a bit more time with a cotton bud and whatnot taking it off. But I'm going to put wood, um, mud up here. Mud's going to be coming up here. This is all mud, all this. And as I say, just the verge is going to be done in grass. So we're at this point, which is another good point. That one's stuck, 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 stuck. But you can give this No More Nails chance to help grip things. Uh, however, it must be noted that we don't want it to grip this. Because remember, we want this to come off. So we want it to be on for, for driving. And off, so we don't want that to get stuck. All this can get stuck now at that, this point. This is fine. And then I'm gonna, I'll come in and wash the chains, um, hit the chains with a bit of a wash, 
and uh, it should be all kind of sorted after that and then uh, I'll come back in with the paint and we'll be grand that's the next kind of stage uh, like I say I use this which is an expensive way of doing mud but it's pigmented already so I just put one coat of that on through there and it's grand so thanks very much uh, good luck and we'll see you on the next one thank you